So we're looking at the K900. It's a really thin device, one of the thinnest on the market. Well, not yet on the market, but it's only 6.9 millimeters thin, but it's special because it contains Intel's latest Clover Trail, and it is reputed to be extremely powerful. So let's just do a test and see how it fares. I can feel it heating up now, just to the top right. Now this is only a prototype, mind you, so it might not be the most optimized, but we'll get a sense of its raw performance here. It was a little bit sluggish, but that could just be to, due to the fact that the UI the overlay is not optimized yet. 5.5 inch display, clocked at two gigahertz with two gigs of RAM. It's got a 13 megapixel with a 1.8 inch, 1.8 focal length, a dual LED flash. It's got a two megapixel on the front. It's a really strong angularized sort of industrial type design. Just bear with us guys, only 27% here. And we did some testing on the Snapdragon 600 re previously, uh, and that had phenomenal benchmarks, putting it really to the top of the charts. It likely is the most powerful SOC in the world before the 800 comes out. We didn't get a chance to test the Tegra 4 yet, but it will likely be quite, very powerful too. And for those of you that are bored, you can just skip ahead. This is the latest version of Antutu. We just had to install it. I hope you all appreciate how difficult it is to get Wi-Fi or any radio signal in a room where there's about a thousand people all competing for signal. And if you're still watching and you haven't skipped forward, you are a patient person. I mean, really patient. <laughs> It's pretty warm in the back here. Actually, it feels quite warm here. Yeah, it's definitely stepping up. Oh, here we go, 93%. We are so close. The moment of truth is upon us. I feel like an NFL announcer. Here we go, 100%, 100%. It's version 3.1.1 of and 2.2. Now, there are a lot of purists out there that will do. Wow. Higher than the Snapdragon 600 we saw on the Optimus G Pro. That is phenomenal that's unbelievable so as you can see yeah I mean I, I don't even know what to say I know it's getting low <laughs> it probably just sucked away at all from that test there might not be the highest in the world we have some uh, modified uh, devices here obviously a little bit overclocked and tweaked not to mention guys that this is a 1920 by 1080 display running Android 4.2.1 out of the box it is besting the HTC one which is the Snapdragon 600 so in all likelihood, what we're looking at here is an extremely powerful device. Um, Intel, they're targeting what appears to be the low-end segment, and they're collaborating with a few device manufacturers, but those numbers speak for themselves. Number five, not bad. We're up against some really, really impressive company here. Obviously, we're going to have to do a lot more thorough testing once we get one of these guys in. So unauthenticated, there we go. So I think that speaks for itself. So guys, this is the first look at the benchmarks on the K900 from Lenovo, uh, running a 2 gigahertz uh, Intel Cloverfield. It's really impressive. Stay tuned to Android Authority, your source for all things Android. My name is Darcy Lacuve. We're live on the ground here at Mobile World Congress, Barcelona, 2013. Let us know what you think of this processor, the K900, and don't forget to comment and subscribe to our channel if you like what we do. Thanks a lot, guys.